Hi, Jane. Are you out right now? Yeah, what's up? Can you get me some sugar on your way back home? I guess Mom used it up this morning. Sure, I'll get some for you. Anything else to get? Do you mind getting me three cans of beer as well? And can you keep this a secret? Okay, <laughs> but you shouldn't feel guilty about it. I understand that you want to get drunk sometimes. Well, I live with my parents-in-law. Plus, my husband doesn't drink at all, too. True, he's a lightweight. Mom and Dad don't drink much, too, so I feel sorry for drinking alone. There's no need to feel sorry, Claire. They don't drink because they can't drink. I drink sometimes, too. Yeah, it makes me glad when I see you drinking. But I don't think I see you going out for a drink often. Yeah, I go out for a drink once a month, maybe. No, actually, once in two months might be more accurate. I can't go out to drink often because I'm married. But aren't you single, Jane? You should go out and play more often. It's kind of embarrassing to say this, but... It's too tiring for me to put makeup on every time before I go out. <laughs> I understand, but still... You know I work from home, right? I'm really an introvert, and I honestly prefer staying at home. If my company hadn't called me over, I wouldn't be out now in the first place. You wouldn't be able to meet your potential boyfriends if you don't go out. I know, this is probably why I'm still single. <laughs> I see you putting makeup on every day, even when you don't have plans to go out, Claire. Of course I put makeup on every day. Isn't that normal for a lady? I can't imagine myself living my everyday life without any makeup on. Hopefully I'll feel the same in the near future. Jane, don't tell me that you go to the gym without any makeup on. Yeah, I don't put any makeup on because it's close by. And it'll become messy anyways with sweat after working out. No, Jane, you never know when you'll meet someone nice. You have to start putting makeup on from now on. Maybe, if I don't forget. Oh, Jane. You really should start thinking about your future. Huh? Are you going to live the rest of your life alone? What are you going to do after your parents pass away? Don't worry, I wouldn't cause any trouble for you and my brother. No, you don't understand. Marriage not always means happiness. But it would be hard to live alone with your career, Jane. Hmm, well, it's certainly not a stable lifestyle. A self-employed person like me. I don't think I'm in the position to judge, but you shouldn't depend on your parents too much. You're right. I'm sorry to make you worry. I'm glad you understand. I'm just worried, you know? I do have a vague idea about my future, so don't worry. I might seem a bit sloppy, but I am saving money for my future. That's nice to hear. And don't forget to get me some sugar on your way back home. <laughs> hey, Jane, have you done the laundry for me? Yep, all done. You didn't mix my laundry with the others, did you? Yeah, I separated your laundry from ours, so don't worry. Good. Also, get the food prep done so that I can cook dinner as soon as I get home. Steak and mashed potatoes for dinner tonight? Yeah, that would be nice. All right, I'll be sure to prep the food. But honestly, I, I feel like I'm doing most of your chores recently. I think I'm doing all your chores for you this week. Well, you stay at home, and it's not like you have a job. So I'm giving you housework to do. All the other family members are spoiling you too much, so I'm trying to provide you with some jobs to do. I do do work from home, but that doesn't mean I'm slacking off. Actually, I'm gonna get busier, so I don't think I can complete your chores instead of you from now on. Be strict with yourself. You don't even earn much money from your job. You should at least help with chores and contribute to our family. I think I bring a decent amount of money to the household, though. I guess you believe it to be a decent amount. Even a child can earn more than you do. <laughs> Aren't you embarrassed of yourself living with your parents at your age? I admit that I do depend on my parents sometimes, but I am taking responsibility as an independent adult. You're definitely not independent enough. I'm embarrassed to have such an irresponsible sister-in-law. 
You should understand that you're an embarrassment to the family. Excuse me? Did you just tell me that I'm an embarrassment? What did I ever do to you? Your mother is really kind, but I overheard her the other day. I hope Jane finds someone nice to get together with. She wants you to leave the house, Jane. Well, I knew that she was worried about me. But I've had discussions about this with my parents, and it's a private matter between me and my parents. So I honestly don't understand why you're so harsh on me. I am your brother's bride, the only son's wife in this household, and I'm even living with my parents-in-law. I should have a say about family issues. Yeah, but wasn't it you who wanted to live with our family? You do understand that the younger generations nowadays don't have a lot of money to spend, right? I don't see any problems for us to live in your family's mansion where there's a lot of extra rooms. We don't mind you living with us, but to make things clear, we never asked you to live with us. Jane, are you even any use? I'm going to contribute to society by giving birth, but how about you who's single? Living a sloppy life at your parents' house and bothering your parents? You seem to be an unproductive human being in society. I'm certainly not married and don't have plans to give birth, but what makes you so frustrated about me? I'm explicitly telling you this because no one words it clearly for you. I've asked my husband to tell you this, but he always says that you're very responsible. Everyone's definitely spoiling you too much. If that's what everyone says, I think it means that I'm pretty responsible. It's hard for them to criticize other family members. To sum it up, you should really understand your position in this household. You are no use in this household, Jane. At last, my husband, the only son of this family, will take over the family business. Uh, I don't think so. You're trying to take over the family business after all the trouble you caused for the family? Are you serious? Stop being so shameless. You're crazy. Did you know that? You should really understand that you're a useless parasite in this household. <laughs> Jane, guess what I'm doing now? Huh? I don't know. You were still at home when I left, right? Yeah, I'm at home. Mom and Dad are on vacation, and my brother's also on a business trip, so I guess you're relaxing at home? Wrong! I'm cleaning your room, Jane. Huh? I'm packing your things so you can move out. Thank me later. Wait a minute. What do you mean you're packing my stuff? I decided that you should leave our house. Huh? You decided without my consent? My parents and my brother are going to panic if I leave without telling them. I don't think they will. They'll probably thank me when they get home. Just leave and stop bothering your parents, Jane. My husband and I will be in charge from now on. We'll take good care of mom and dad, so don't worry. All right. You really want to kick me out of the house, huh? Then I guess you'll have to pay $5,000 every month. If you can pay instead of me, I'll leave the house as you insist. Uh-huh, $5,000. Yep, the rent for this house. Rent? Don't we own this house? Nope, we are renting this house. We pay $5,000 every month for rental fees. My parents and my brother can't pay for our rent, so now that you're kicking me out, I assume that you'll cover for the rental fees? Why? Why will I be paying for the rent? That's because I'm in charge of paying the rental fees. You're kidding. <laughs> That's not funny, Jane. Oh, I get it. You're delusional and believe that you're the one who's paying the rent. Or are you trying to make things up so that you can stay in this house? I'm actually paying the rent, though. Stop it, Jane. Enough with the bluff. I knew you were a weirdo. No decent adult would depend on their parents and bother them at your age. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll pay. Just leave the house already. <laughs> you said it. You'll regret it someday. <laughs> Claire, are you there? I know I'm selfish for saying this, but could you please come back home? I assume you heard about the rent from my brother and parents? Yes. 
They told me that you were indeed paying for the rental fees. I'm so sorry. I thought you didn't have a proper job. Well, I never told you about my job. I didn't really mind being misunderstood by you, but I never expected to be kicked out of the house, though. I am very sorry. I never thought you earned way more than my husband. I heard you earn money from stock investments and from many other businesses as well. I... I never thought you were such a talented person. I'm not talented. It's just that I studied hard because I didn't want to go out and work. Please, give me a chance to apologize for everything I did. Could you please come back home? Well, I can go back to get the rest of my stuff I left at home. But I don't think I can bear living with you. Can you leave the house, Claire? I'm so sorry, Jane. Please, please don't say that. Claire, think about it. Do you remember all those insults and harsh words you said to me? I know that you weren't aware that I was supporting the household by paying the rent, but your attitude was really rude, Claire. Yes, I'm very sorry for my rude attitude. If you had told me beforehand, I would have never done that to you, Jane. Maybe I should have told you about my career. But I have my reasons. When people hear about the money I make, they start contacting me for their benefit. Even relatives try to take advantage of me. It's not like I didn't trust you, Claire. When you started living with our family, it had only been a year since you married my brother. So I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I understand. But after you started living with us, I noticed your change in attitude towards me. And you forced me to complete your chores for you, didn't you? So I decided that there's no need to tell someone so rude like you about my job. Plus, I knew that my parents and brother were telling you about me paying the rent. I thought they were covering for you, so I never believed what they told me about you. I don't look rich, do I? I usually only wear casual clothing, and I don't even buy stuff from famous brands. I stay at home all the time, so I understand you referring to me as a parasite living off my parents. No, I, I never meant to say that. But I don't think I depended too much on you or my parents to complete daily chores. I think I was pretty responsible about them, actually. You wanted me to leave the house considering your future baby, right? If I leave, there would be an extra room for the baby to use. My room was also the biggest room, so I understand. No, Jane! I was genuinely worried about you! I don't think so. I heard you complaining when my parents and my brother were away. If only Jane could leave, we'll have room for our newborn baby. I'm so sorry. I, I was just being sarcastic. I'm very, very sorry, Jane. I've been trying my best to maintain a good relationship with you, Claire. It was my bad that I didn't explain everything to you beforehand, but wasn't it you and my brother who asked if you can live with us in the first place? Yes, I regret everything I did to you, Jane, so please don't kick us out of the house. I'll do anything for you. I'll be in charge of all the house chores. How about that? Claire, I don't like it when people suddenly change their attitude. Like you said, I'm an unproductive human being who doesn't contribute to society. No, that's not true at all. Considering your monthly earnings, I bet you're paying a lot of taxes, so I no longer think you're unproductive. Believe me. I believe you. And I accept your apologies, Claire. But I can't live with you anymore. Oh, by the way, my brother also told me that he would respect my decision. No way! I don't want to leave this house! This is my ideal home! I'm sorry, Claire. I don't think you can stay. I wish you and my brother the best of luck. If this is your ideal house, you could always rent something similar on your own. But it's too sudden! My husband told me to go back to my parents' house for a while. He said he wanted some time to rethink about our relationship and our future. Well, you kicked out your husband's sister, so his actions are understandable. I honestly think you deserve it, Claire. If you don't forgive me, our relationship might end up in divorce. I don't see a direct relation here. Your rude attitude and your action of kicking me out caused you to be in this situation right now. But your marriage issues are your and my brother's problem. I, I can't fix your relationship. That's not true! If you can talk to my husband, he might view our relationship positively again and go back to when we were a nice, intimate couple. I'm sorry, but no matter what you say, I won't take back what I said. 
When you just started living with us, you were respectful and kind. But then you started slacking off with housework, forcing me to complete your chores for you. And you never listened, even when my parents and your husband kindly tried to point out to you about your bad attitude. We don't need people who can't follow rules in this house. I swear I'll become a better person. Even if you did, I can't bear with you any longer. Honestly, you were the one who was dependent on your family. You should understand who really was the parasite to the family. After the incident, my brother kicked her out of the house, and she went back to her parents' house. At first, my brother wasn't planning to get a divorce. But when he showed her the new apartment the couple would live in, she threw a tantrum saying that she cannot bear to live in such a shabby house. So he chose to get a divorce. She was known to be a spender, and living with our family gave the couple some extra money to spend. But he seemed to have gotten tired with her spending habits that cannot be fixed even after he warned her not to spend too much money. Then she started pleading that she didn't want a divorce, and even visited our house crying, causing a scene in the house. My parents, annoyed with all the chaos she brought to the family, firmly rejected her plea and my brother was able to successfully get a divorce. Our mansion seemed to be her ideal home where she always dreamed to live, so she had been uploading a lot of photos to her SNS accounts. My brother showed me her account where she had been continuing to upload her old photos taken in our house, and it was pretty creepy. She might be mentally ill right now, but I think she'll get better in the future when she runs out of photos to upload. Hopefully her obsession to our house fades, and I wish her a happy life away from our family. After the divorce, my brother started living alone, and he seems to enjoy his solo life away from his family. Living with our parents turned out to be a result of his wife's strong request, so he's currently enjoying his life to the fullest. I had a small chat with him when he visited us the other day, and he reflected that he learned a lot of things from his marriage with a bitter smile on his face. He also said that he was lucky to be able to discover his ex-wife's real personality at an early stage in his marriage. But the reason why his ex-wife became crazy was because I was single and lived with my parents. So I seriously thought about finding a partner for a while. But I realized that it's fate to meet the right person. It probably wouldn't turn out well if I pressured myself too much. I guess I'll try to go out more often and put some effort into meeting and interacting with new people. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.